Hi everyone. This is a uh, small circuit that I've been uh, working on for some time now and uh, I'm getting something that may be interesting but I would need the uh, opinions of the uh, so-called experts. So here you go. This is a ferrite uh, loop stick uh, piece here. This uh, piece that has the coil wound on it and that is a very fine wire. It's a 34 uh, gauge uh, wire that uh, is all uh, wound uh, all on the surface of that uh, loop stick. And this is another piece of ferrite here that I've added. It uh, seems that when I have this uh, extra uh, ferrite uh, material at this end of this little loop stick uh, ferrite, uh, loop stick antenna. Those were found in those uh, old uh, AM radios. So you can't see it's a ferrite because it's all covered with the wire but it's the same material as this regular ferrite here. So uh, the only inter the, the thing that I've made that's very different about these coils is I had this idea from other coils that I made. I have a whole bunch of them there that I've been testing but this is the one that's giving me the uh, best results here so far and I believe it's probably because I've uh, wound it on the loop stick antenna to raise the inductance to the highest uh, possible and uh, use a fine wire as well to uh, have many turns so I can have high inductance. Um, at the midpoint here, exactly at the center of this coil, I, I let a strand come out. The strand isn't broken, it continues and then I continue winding you know so it's it's wound always let's say uh, clockwise all the way down but there's a lead that comes out here so we'll call that a center tap if you want and that little lead I have it uh, hooked up going to one side here of a uh, uh, this is a switch mode uh, ferrite uh, transformer here a switch mode uh, power supply transformer so one lead is going here in the high voltage and the other lead here is going to to just a, a pack of uh, this is a lead that's going to the these are microwave oven transformers that I had cut open and I just stuck all kinds of wires and things in there and that's basically on the uh, metal of the uh, transformer itself so that lead is just uh, I don't know some kind of a pickup antenna I don't know what it does but it does a lot of uh, difference and uh, makes the circuit work uh, uh, efficiently um, so here I have my voltage probe here on this is uh, the output is coming from my signal generator uh, it's uh, around the uh, 800 uh, kilohertz uh, area that is the frequency I'm getting the best effect I have it on sine wave for now, but I can show you what happens when I put it on a square wave. Just more output, basically. Uh, so, here is my hot lead coming out of the signal generator. I've cut everything so that there's no uh, stray capacitance and stuff like that. We've got, like, minimum amount of wire here as possible. So, there is the entry to the uh, coil here by the hot lead, and that's my voltage probe. And this is the uh, exit point here and that is going to the ground of the oscilloscope. That's a bunch of, uh, actually it's a 14, uh, uh, 14 ohm resistors that are all in parallel and uh, that makes a very very accurate uh, 1 ohm resistor. It's very accurate. Uh, I trust it quite a bit and I've tested it with a, uh, my precision uh, resistance uh, meter and it's very exactly 1 ohm. <coughs> so uh, well, I, know, I don't know if it's either 17 or uh, 14 ohms, uh, you can see by the uh, color bands there. So there is, you know, if it's a 17 ohm, it's 17 of them together. If it's a 14 ohm, it's 14 of them all together. And it gives a very precise 1 ohm resistor. And these are all metal film uh, resistors, so there is no uh, inductance involved or anything like that here. And... Um, there are my two grounds. That is my current probe here, the red one. Uh, so it's traditional way to calculate uh, power and look at uh, phase and all that. So this little um, ferrite uh, transformer here out of a switch mode power supply has a bulb on the low voltage side here. 
and uh, this bulb is actually uh, lit a little bit which is glowing as you can see right there and the uh, circuit so the circuit is uh, putting out uh, power and uh, if I remove uh, this uh, lead here which goes to this bunch of uh, hunk of metal and copper and stuff like that the circuit uh, hardly operates I mean hardly uh, gives any output but with that in there it uh, gives a good output now what's interesting and this is where I need uh, some uh, clarification is basically the uh, voltage and current are 90 degrees out of phase so here I am uh, going in there to show you so here in green this is the voltage and in yellow that is the current and you can see that the current is uh, lagging the uh, voltage and uh, pretty close to well not quite 180 degrees so but you know it's uh, definitely in the 160 to 170 uh, degrees I would uh, estimate there is the uh, data there so that is our frequency and that is our voltage our mess going in and that is the uh, current uh, uh, across that uh, in yellow on the uh, 1 ohm resistor and uh, basically uh, we have a negative uh, because we're past 90 degrees so we're in a negative means so from what I see uh, basically this means that uh, power is basically uh, being returned it's not uh, consuming uh, much power that's what I'm under the impression of. Um, all my probes are all correct. They're, they're at uh, one times. DC coupling, one times for my current probe as well. And uh, here, if I go in my uh, channel and I can, my um, probe, I can go and uh, invert it. For those that might want to uh, see it uh, what it looks like inverted right now it's not inverted so if I invert it it is now inverted so now you see the math going all the way on the top there and inverted we have a positive uh, means now there is no more negative so and it's the same value as uh, it is uh, with it uh, non-inverted except it's a positive means instead of a negative means because it's been inverted. So I'll go and <laughs> take invert inversion uh, off here on the probe and we're back with the uh, a negative uh, means there. So my question is, is um, uh, basically if we have a negative means uh, are we uh, basically in a position where we're uh, really not using any power uh, and uh, some of the power that would be actually uh, 80 milliwatts uh, would be uh, returned to uh, the signal generator so that's how I'm kind of reading it but I just want that conf confirmation um, from the pros and this is my other oscilloscope I have two oscilloscopes uh, this one here is a 200 megahertz uh, oscilloscope and this one here is a uh, I think it's a 40 megahertz uh, and I'm just using one channel of that and that's uh, across my uh, bulb and we have basically uh, one and a half volt uh, RMS across that little three volt uh, light bulb so that's why it's only glowing right now and uh, but that's uh, you know a good amount of power uh, that's going to that bulb for um, you know considering <clears throat> we're uh, close to 90 degrees out of phase so what I'll do now is I will uh, just tune the uh, frequency to show you uh, basically what happens so here I am going higher up in frequency and now you see that it's it's, lock, it's locking in at 180 degrees right there 
and uh, or even beyond that, there's 180 degrees exactly. But what I did is I tuned to get maximum amplitude on my bulb here, on this side here. So, but what's interesting though is this circuit outputs, you know, pretty well its peak when it's 180 degrees out of phase. So now I keep going up. I'm at, um, right now I'm at 1.4 megahertz. And right now I'm at 2 megahertz. So you see it's pretty well flat line. And now I'm going back down 1.8, 1.6, 1.5, 1.4. And suddenly now we're starting to get at our point where the uh, current is building up. And there you go, our light bulb is now uh, lighting again. And now if I go down in frequency, this is what happens. So now I'm at 900 megahertz, uh, sorry, 900 kilohertz, sorry, 700 kilohertz. So we're uh, at our peak, we're at 800 kilohertz range, or a little lower than that, and now I'm going down 700 kilohertz, 600 kilohertz, 400 kilohertz, and there you go. So what I'll do now is I'll retune for our peak, and I will just give you more uh, samples, because sometimes, you know, we get more accurate data with more samples and I'll do the same with uh, here all right so there is our uh, data there on our bulb we have 1.5 volts RMS 4.5 volts uh, peak to peak and there is uh, our uh, more uh, samples there on the uh, circuit and uh, we're getting about 83 uh, m minus 83 millivolts return and there's the rest of the data there sorry for the math it's just blending into the uh, data there but I think you can kind of make it out but it's very clear to see that all the math is totally on this side uh, you know and then when you uh, tune out the math now has gone back up so the math is now you know in, a, in an area where it's consuming uh, power and uh, see now when I tune all the math has gone more up on top here and when I get at the right spot all the math falls all the way down and what is neat is it coincides that it gives maximum output at that point too on my bulb. So that is uh, what is happening there and as you can see uh, let me just fine-tune here for best uh, output here. Okay so we're back with our bulb uh, you know glowing there and you can see it. So now what I'll do is I'll just flip the uh, signal generator to a uh, square wave. And now you can see our bulb is uh, a lot more uh, aggressive. And uh, that's it. So now if we look at our, uh, sorry about the uh, focus here, I think I was just in the macro uh, mode there. And let me just tune this for maximum amplitude there. So now if we can see that our, you know, we're obviously uh, putting out uh, more power. And if we look, yes, uh, we are now sending two volts uh, RMS at the bulb and uh, six volts uh, peak to peak. And still again here the math, uh, I'd have to actually try to go in the math Right now, this is jamming my uh, mouse. I can hardly move my mouse. So this single is is uh, jamming the mouse, and I can't do uh, I can't do any anything more. But uh, what I was going to do is just drop uh, the uh, math uh, sensitivity down so that we could see. So there you see the uh, light uh, bulb uh, filament there. 
is uh, trying to block away the white behind there, the white background of the table. So there you see a good uh, shot and the filament is uh, coming on a lot more with uh, square wave. So that's about uh, two volts there. I don't know if that, I think that's a three volt uh, light bulb or maybe it is, a, maybe that's a 12 volt light bulb. I don't know, I'd have to check. Anyways, uh, you know, what I find interesting is this uh, sine wave uh, being uh, or the uh, current and voltage uh, out of phase by uh, close to 180 degrees and uh, to me uh, that's uh, kind of interesting and let's see uh, what the experts uh, find. Thanks for uh, watching. Bye now.